The Archdiocese of Chicago is a vibrant and diverse faith community. We celebrate our faith through worship, evangelization, and reaching out to the needy. Welcome to Catholic Chicago. Good morning, welcome to Catholic Chicago on WNDZ 750 AM. You can also get us on youtube.com slash Catholic Chicago, youtube.com slash Catholic Chicago. On this Monday, June 10th, the program was taped last Thursday. So I'm Father Greg Sackowitz, Director of Holy Cathedral, and co-host Mark Teresi, who is very involved chairing with a couple other wonderful people, Claire and John, our 175th and 150th anniversary is coming up to Cathedral. Good morning, Mark. How are you? Very good. And one exciting thing, with the 175th, we had a donor who recreated the Mother Cabrini statue that's in our courtyard, and we're presenting it at St. Paul outside the walls in Rome as the launch for our 175th in Rome, uh, and it's a gift to the Pope in honor of his work with immigrants. In mid-November. Mid-November. The thing that amazes me, though, is I can't believe we're now approaching one-third through June. I know. It just happened. It like feels like it was just Easter Sunday on March 31st, and we are approaching now mid-June. I hate to say this, we're going to blink, it'll be July 4th, exactly. Labor Day, and then football. <laughs> <laughs> Hope better than baseball. Well, the Cubs will be fine. The White Sox are just dismal. Mm -hmm. Just pack it up for the year. But I think the Cubs will be fine. They're, 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 they're contenders, not pretenders. Right. We have a great program lined up here this morning. St. Josephine Bakita Parish located 2132 East 72nd Street, is hosting the third annual South Shore Summer Safety Town Hall meeting on Saturday, June 15th from noon until 2 p.m. with a focus on honoring fathers, building trusting relationships, and safer communities. This event is free and open to the public with refreshments served afterwards. Joining us to talk about the third annual South Shore Summer Safety Town Hall meeting are Sandra Botello and Dwight Hearns, Sandra and Dwight, good morning to the program. How are you? Good Very good. Good morning. Thank you for having us. I know this is their third annual. <laughs> You've been on the program before. Now, mm -hmm. Dwight, briefly, were you born and raised in Chicago? Yes. Where at? I was not. Where are you from, Dwight, in Chicago? Uh, uh, South Shore, actually. Well, my parents were in Woodlawn when I was born, and we moved over to South Shore in 1970. I've been here ever since. And what high school did you go to? Went to De La Salle. De La Salle. Oh, wow. I, out of curiosity, what- A meteor. Yeah, a meteor. What class were you? 75. And I was Notre Dame College Prep in Niles, 71, so you're much younger. Where are you from, Sandra? I'm originally from Idaho. But uh, when I was about six months old, we moved to Chicago. And then uh, at eight, I moved back to Idaho. I've been in a couple different states. I've lived in Mexico uh, as well. Um, but I've been in South Shore for the last 10 years. Mm -hmm. That is amazing. Well, first of all, thank you for being guests. I know <laughs> that uh, Larry Campbell, who kind of organized and spearheaded the program, mm -hmm. will not join us mm -hmm. here this morning, but Larry's always with us in spirit. So maybe tell us for a moment, the third annual town hall meeting to be held on June 15th. Uh, maybe for our listeners, what is a town hall? So this is the third year that we're hosting this. The way that it's um, come about is that we get quite a few uh, political leaders, um, the police department, local organizations, and community members to come together and have discussions regarding the safety in our neighborhood. Um, we uh, get, as community members, we ask the police and the city leaders um, what plans are in place, how as community members can we uh, report these crimes, or how can we get the services that we need um, for our community in order to make it safer. And also, um, this year, we're really trying to reach out to the youth because without them is um i mean we need them in order to be able to make this a prosperous and better safer neighborhood for everybody mm -hmm. now dwight before the show we were chatting a little bit what, what's the temperature in south shore that you know this event hopefully will build relationships good relationships or maybe continue to grow them 
But what would your assessment be right now as we approach summer? What's the temperature in South Shore? It's warming up, okay? Mm -hmm. And that's one of the reasons why uh, we're, host, we, we, we're hosting a town hall during this time period is that so we can have some plans in place and not be so reactionary if things go awry uh, during the summer months. We know that kids are out and they are outside. They're doing things. They're active. And so uh, the temperature is that um, some of the uh, nonprofit groups want to contribute. They want to be involved. The activists want to be involved. And, and CPD is always there. They've been to um, the previous two town hall sessions, and they generally stay the duration, the two hours of, of the town hall meeting. Yeah, and I think it's very interesting you used a great phrase, Dwight, and that is the whole purpose of the safety town hall is to be proactive and not reactive. Mm -hmm. There's a huge yes. difference. Now, this is the third annual safety town hall in that area. What came out of the first two that you'll now build upon with this third hall? Sandra? Um, the first one was gathering all of the people that we wanted to um, ask questions from, and a relationship started forming. Uh, Senator Robert Peters came out. He did a fantastic job. Um, our alderman at the time was, um, oh, I forgot her name. Yeah. I knew yeah. I was going to do that. Mm, that's okay. She's not here. Uh, but she came out. She did a great job as well. <laughs> um, and then last year, we got more organizations to be able to speak up. And what I really found that that was beautiful was that each organization is like everybody's working independently, but once everybody got to hear what each other was doing, um, we started a network of like, oh, you guys do that. I have people that I need to um, go to get your services or, oh, I didn't know you guys offered that and give me some more information. So organically, uh, these networks just started to um, work together a little better. This year, I feel um, that there are other organizations that are also stepping up and doing similar work as to what we've done. Now, Dwight, um, I remember from last time, and you, I think you were just finishing your degree, so you're Dr. Dwight, uh, Dr. Dwight, and business psychology. Uh, how is this event good for the business community in South Shore? It's good for the community uh, the business community especially, because perhaps we can have the kids under control, mm -hmm. okay? Uh, no business is going to come into a community where there's chaos, uh, mm -hmm. where there are uh, driving cars up into the front door and, and going in and ripping off away the cash station machines and things of that nature. Uh, for that reason and others, uh, businesses have left the community uh -huh. uh, you know, and so we have to get this under control. Now, where they're not going into store, ram or ramming cars into stores, there's a lot of theft going on. Okay, no one wants to really talk up or admit that. Okay, um, I, I I think I just heard an article on TV that Walmart is equipping uh, employees with uh, body cameras. So they can actually record someone if they see them stealing something. The employees won't approach them, but they can give that video to the uh, police authorities and then try and apprehend those individuals at that point. But the idea is that no one's going to come into the community unless crime is under control. We can't have a chance to build unless that's all being dealt with. Out of curiosity, uh, Dwight, how many attended the first year and second year, the safety town hall? Uh, I think the first year was maybe about 100 people. Uh, the second year, slightly less, but we were not at our Bikita, uh St. Josephine Bikita location. We were at Our Lady of Peace because uh, we had a funeral that took uh, priority over at uh, Josephine Bikita. So, uh, but we will be at home on this upcoming Saturday on June 15th. So we're looking for at least 100, 125 people. Now, can I, now, can I ask, um, 
So St. Josephine Bakita Parish Social Justice Committee is putting this on. I'm showing my ignorance. I don't know who St. Josephine Bakita is. And uh, could you give us a little background on her? Uh, and also, the address is on here, 2132 mm -hmm. East 72nd Street. But um, would people know it by another parish name? Is this a merged parish? This is a merged parish. We were formerly uh, St. Philip Neri. Oh, okay. Sure. Now I know exactly where you're Yeah, so St. Philip Neri. Okay. See, I'm being, being a priest now 45 years. I'm so used to the old names, mm -hmm. yeah. so the mergings and closings and new names. I get thrown. So when you say, yeah, St. Philip Neri, oh my gosh, yeah, I know exactly where that's yeah. at. One, one of the Quigley North profs that we had years ago lived at St. Uh, Father Bill Sheridan lived at St. Philip near I, yeah. I think for like mm -hmm. 30 years, maybe more. And the people mm -hmm. loved him. Yeah. Uh, just a he little, is a, a lovely, slight, lovely yeah. you know, Sandra, a little <laughs> bit uh, different kind of type of question is, in the first two years, now leading up to this third year, I'm, I'm sure you've had moments that really um, exhilarated you, you know, made you feel terrific about the direction, but also from the first two years, you look at the reality mm -hmm. of the world we live in, South Shore, Chicago, not just mm -hmm. our city, everywhere. Um, what still frustrates you in this whole area? I think for me, my biggest frustration is probably finding solid assistance. Like everybody knows there's a problem and everybody has connections and phone numbers, but the, the solution to the actual problem is never mm. really addressed mm. um so so that becomes very frustrating um especially uh for mothers if you're having a problem with a child um unless the child wants help they can't help you unless the unless certain people are involved you're really not getting the assistance that you need mm -hmm. um and a lot of it has to do uh through high schools and one of our new people that we're um, inviting to the to the event is Excel Academy High School, which is an alternative high school. And they are very, very good at addressing those kinds of issues, especially with young men and women that are beginning to have issues in regular schools. They get sent there. They mm -hmm. have additional resources that actually help and provide real assistance. Interesting. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Dwight, same question. I know things that excite you, uh, make you feel great, what's happened so far with the progress, but also what frustrates you the most? What frustrates me the most is not addressing the elephant in the room. Mm. Everybody knows there is an elephant there, but no one wants to point to it and say, there he is. Uh, meaning that people don't speak up. We have a chance to uh, talk with our representatives, talk with our, with our aldermen, talk with our uh, CPD commanders, talk with our um, non-for-profits uh, organizations, and really hammer them, we'll ask them questions um, and look at the direction or make suggestions, okay? We have an opportunity where well, people will hold on and hold on and hold on. And then after it's over, uh, or at least this particular uh, town hall, we're having refreshments after. But that's, and, and I don't know how many people or panelists that we've invited will stick around to the end to partake of those refreshments. But there will be an opportunity there to talk with them, to really get their perspective out or to take further what was already discussed during the town hall. But people don't say anything. They just hold it and they grumble among each other. And that's not solving any problems. That's good. Exactly. We're going to take a little break, WNDZ. 7.50 a.m. Catholic Chicago. You can go to youtube.com slash Catholic Chicago. We're with Dwight Hearns, Sandra Boteo. Uh, we'll be back in a few minutes. When we come back, I'd like to ask both of you, as you plan this event, uh, it's an honoring fathers, too. You're inviting fathers. As a father, when, when I come as a father and I have a young son who wants to be good, wants to be involved, are there possibilities that they might learn at this event of how they can, their, my son can spend the summer in some shore in a positive way? We'll be back in a few minutes. Please stay tuned.
Catholic Charities Golf Classic is teeing up to be a fabulous event this summer. Join us on Monday, July 15 at Knollwood Club in Lake Forest and Shore Acres in Lake Bluff, two premier courses in Chicago. Proceeds from this outing will support Catholic Charities programs and services in Cook and Lake Counties. Last year, we served more than 400,000 people, improving lives and nourishing spirits through their difficult times. Gather your foursome or just join us for the spectacular dinner following the tournament. Catholic Charities Golf Classic is always a highlight of summer in Chicago. Come and experience this signature event for yourself. To learn more and register for the Catholic Charities Golf Classic on July 15, call 312-948-6864. That's 312-948-6864. Or visit catholiccharities.net. Four for me teaching. When I started here, there were teachers here that had taught me when I was a student. Now I'm the old person. <laughs> right now, I teach junior high math. I love when kids find what I'm teaching to be fun and they get it. I see that light bulb go off and it's a thrill. People are always amazed. What? what? You're here for 44 years? It's hard for me to believe, frankly. <laughs> I love what I do. Every summer I think, oh, I miss the classroom. Even on the weekends, I think I can't wait to get back on Monday and teach those quadratic equations. <laughs> Shape the next generation of leaders. Teach. Apply today at artschicago.org slash schooljobs. Did you know that Catholic Charities accepts car donations? If you're ready to free up space in your garage and put a stop to all those expenses that go along with owning a car, we will gratefully accept your donation, whether the car is running or not. You choose a pickup time that is convenient for you, and we will make the donation as easy as possible free of charge. You'll receive a charitable donation receipt as well. We accept all types of vehicles nationwide, and you will know that your donation is made to Catholic Charities, an agency you can trust. To learn more about donating your car, call 877-786-4483. That's 877-786-4483. Thank you. We're back, WNDZ, 7.50 a.m., Catholic Chicago. Go to youtube.com slash Catholic Chicago. We're speaking with Sandra Boteo and Dwight Hearns about the third annual South Shore Summer Safety Town Hall meeting, which is going to be Saturday, June 15th, noon to 2 p.m., free. It's open to the public. It's at St. Joseph, Josephine Bakita Parish. Um, it's 2132 East 72nd Street. The formerly known as St. Philip Nirai. Right. So yeah. it's, it's really a landmark in, the, oh, in that South Shore area. Um, mm -hmm. And when we took a break, the question I had was, because I want to make sure people understand there are a lot of wonderful young people uh, uh, in South Shore. How are they going to spend their summers? What is is this event at all going to network them or network a father who you're honoring fathers, uh, giving fathers some resources for their kids who they want to be positive this summer? Uh, their programs going to be talked about or directing people and not to live in, not to live in the fear. That's a big one. Yeah, not to live in fear, but to live in a positive way. Dwight, do you mm. want to start? And then maybe Sandra? Um, well, my specific area is more along the lines of what uh, what we can do to keep our kids safe. Uh, and that would be in regards to activities within the community. Mm -hmm. So they just won't be roaming the streets uh, and looking for something and make the wrong decision and cause chaos and confusion an idle mind as we say is the devil's, devil's workshop. workshop so the idea um in my uh from my angle is trying to keep the kids busy uh, and have them uh 
with a, a direction, a course throughout the summer uh, to be engaged in something. Good. Sandra, Very what good. about you? So in South Shore, we do have a lot of single parent families and um, a lot of the fathers are absent, but the ones that are present is the ones that we're going to be honoring. We absolutely need um, the participation of fathers in many areas. Um, we have a couple of organizations that do step up in that role, um, like Operation Neighborhood Safety. Um, they used to be basketball, NBA basketball players. They put in a program where um, in some gas stations, they'll station themselves outside. And if they see a woman that's about to go in and get gas, they'll pump the gas for her oh. in order to keep her safe. Oh, um, nice. They also provide a lot of basketball tournaments and games for kids. Um, Lawrence Hall, Lost Boys, and the Claritian Associates also step into those roles to be able to provide a specific program for you, for the young adults. Um, and when they, last year, one of the things that we saw is that they kind of recognized each other. They weren't, they knew they existed, but they were able to have a platform where they could actually talk, communicate, and also network. Beautiful. You know, Sandra, as I listened to you and Dwight, what fascinates mm -hmm. me is your enthusiasm, your dedication, your commitment. There are so many things you'd be doing with your life. You're very intelligent, bright. And how did you get into this area to really come forward to try to make a difference in your community, in the area of justice, safety, and peace? Um, I'm just interested, what, what triggered this response with this enthusiasm and or basically you could be spending your time doing a lot of other things mm -hmm. but you're doing this why um, um thank you so much father uh, one of the things is uh wanting better you see as i as i mentioned earlier uh, my family has been here since 1970. now i've moved other places and lived other places um around uh, between 1970 and now, uh, going away to school and things like that. Uh, but uh, it's not the same as it was. Uh, and so when it was young, when we were here, there were, it was a different atmosphere. It was a different spirit. It was great. Mm -hmm. It's not that any longer. So the idea is a, a rekindle, a restorative uh, plan process to as it was because it can be better uh, we i have seen um, incidents around the community that are grueling uh are gruesome even a member of our church uh, was attacked on the steps of the church uh, right before the eight o'clock mass oh, oh my. Uh, okay and so uh we now have security uh, out in front of the church for the 8 o'clock Mass and oh. the 10 o'clock Mass on Sundays. And so never at any other time in history has any church I've attended or been uh, has security outside of the church. These are different times we live in and different uh, tactics must be used. So uh, we approach the issue from two sides. One, the spiritual, the activist side, the proactive side and the other, you know, trying to keep kids busy, uh, doing something to uh, alleviate some of these issues that occur within the community. Maybe, maybe the very same question for you, Sandra, is, again, like Dwight, so many other things you'd be doing, but you're putting a lot of energy and focus here. Why? For me, I love South Shore. Um, I have a dog that I need to walk every day and I love just the beauty of it. We have Jackson Park, we have mm -hmm. the lakefront. Um, I like going to St. Philip Neri because of the walk there. Um, it's just a beautiful place. I I don't feel as threatened as um, a lot of people think I should be. 
Um, I have neighbors and most of the neighbors that I live around, uh, we all watch out for each other. We take care of each other's packages. And I think it's kind of the atmosphere that you build around yourself can just expand. And if I can do that with my neighbors, like next door or mm -hmm. a couple buildings down or down the street, it's like, I think we should be able to have that in the whole community. Mm. Um, I don't think it's as, as dire as it seems on the news. Mm. Uh, I mean, mm. I've been here 10 years. I've had a couple of incidents, but I mean, incidents are going to happen anywhere. Exactly. Um, for me, I have a lot of faith and I believe God wants us to do good things and be there for each other. Mm. And if we have that in our soul that we want to build better communities and then we trust the people that we're building those communities with, it's going to happen. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. So third annual South Shore Summer Safety Town Hall meeting, Saturday, June 15th, 2024, noon to 2 p.m. Free. It's open to the public. I'm a father in South Shore. Why should I come? Because, because you want to learn more. <laughs> and, what, and, and, and what am I going to learn? You want, you want to learn more and you want to become engaged. Okay. Yeah. Uh, if you want change, if you'd like to see change, then be engaged. What's yeah, your? I, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I was, interesting for both Sandra and for Dwight is um, sometimes we take on what's called a victim mentality that there's nothing I can do. I feel so helpless. Yeah. I don't have a voice. So what you're really saying is a safety town hall meeting this on Saturday, June fifteenth. I think for me it does a couple of things as I listen to you. One, it brings people together with a common cause of belief in God and belief in justice and safety. And the thing is not to be able to live in fear, but to try to put structures into place and not just talk about it, but to what you said earlier that a lot of people at the meeting say nothing during the coffee break or the meeting's yeah. over are talking up and you're saying to the people walking in, when the meeting begins, that's the time to speak up in a very respective way. It doesn't have to mm -hmm. be shouting. Nothing gets accomplished with shouting and yelling. But I think somehow mm -hmm. just have the numbers there together saying, we can stand and make a difference to end violence. What's your goal okay. for the day, Dwight? I feel what? like um, our Catholic faith teaches us um, that in Spanish, I say, la unión hace la fuerza. So being in unity, you have more power, more force. And the more good people are together, uh, unifying against the bad, the faster we're going to be able to eradicate it. We have to be able to pinpoint it, address it, fix it, and move on. Because the more we're kicking down the can, it's just not ever going to stop. Mm -hmm. And getting together, getting the good forces together, good things are going to happen. Dwight, a closing thought. We are hopeful that we can get our message across in this town hall as we have the previous two, uh, but go further with that message and have a little more action as well uh, from um, our residents as well as our aldermen and um, nonprofit leaders within the community. Now, Dwight, is there a phone number or a website people can go to to learn more about this? The church website. Mm. website. Sandra, do you have it? Um, if you don't, that's I, okay. We just have a Facebook page. So okay. you can go on Facebook and then put in St. Josephine Bikita Parish. Um, you'll be able to find that. And then our phone number, I don't have it off the that's top okay. of my head. We do have a couple other flyers that have the phone number on them. I just don't have it on me. Okay, I think you do provide a lot of stuff. I want to thank in a very special way uh, Sandra Botello and Dwight Hearns for joining us. A big uh, South Safety Hall meeting on Saturday, June 15th. Special thanks also to Mark Tracy, co-host. Great work of our producer engineers, Michael May, Clint Cottrell. To our listeners, may God bless all of you. Have a wonderful week. Be safe and help one another. God bless.